Tickle on the tum. <laughs> Tickle on the what? Look down, there's Tickle Town. And there's the river Tom. Tickle on the tum. Oh, yeah, Tickle on the tum. <laughs> Danny. Hello, Ralph. Hello, hello, hello. What's this then? Oh, look, I'm sorry to bother you, Danny, but could I borrow a needle and cotton to sew up my skirt? Well, uh, why don't I sew the skirt up for you? Give it here to me. Go oh. on, you sit down and tell me what happened. Oh, that's very what kind of you. Well, it was like this. This morning, I was on my way to the Scout Hut. Did you know I'm in charge of the Cubs in Tickle? I'm what they call the Arcala. I was just thinking what I could do with the cubs when Roland Crust, you know, the baker, came up to me in a terrible state. It's Capelia, he said. She's stuck up a tree over there. Oh, poor, poor Capelia. Now, I knew who he was on about. Capelia is Roland Crust's old cat. But I thought climbing trees is what cats like to do, I said. Oh, they do, they do, said Mr. Crust. But this time, Capelia can't get down. I calmed him down as best I could, rushed across to the scout hut, and brought all the cubs along to help. Has anybody got any ideas, I asked. Uh, get the fire brigade, said Bertie Barlow. Firemen know how to get cats down from trees and things like that. No, no, I said, I, I don't want to bother them. They might be busy. We'll have to think of something else. Why don't we try to climb up and get her, said Johnny Jones, who immediately tried to climb up, but he couldn't. In fact, the tree was so tall, none of the cubs were able to get up it. All this time, poor old Capelia was meowing away and dear Roland Cross was getting more and more upset. Then, I had an idea. Bertie, I said, go and get the stepladder from the scout hut. I'd better climb up myself. When he arrived back, we leaned the ladder against the tree trunk. Then, very carefully, I started to climb up it. But when I got halfway, it began to move. Very slightly at first, then quite a lot. It was falling sideways. I jumped for my life, but my, my skirt caught on a branch, and there I was, hanging from the tree, helpless. I felt very silly dangling up in the air with my petticoat showing. Luckily, my skirt tore, and I, I fell the rest of the way to the ground, twisting my ankle, but only slightly. Pretending to be brave, I, I put the ladder firmly against the tree, and up I went again. And this time, I was quite safe, because Mr. Crust was holding the bottom of the ladder for me. When I got to the top, I crawled out along a branch, following the sounds of Coppelia's meows. But as I got close to her, she went higher up the branch. I tried to follow her, but the branch began to sway up and down with my weight. Then I heard a loud crack. The branch was breaking. I, I didn't dare move. I was stuck up the tree now, just like that silly cat. Oh dear, I did feel stupid. I, I could just imagine what Sergeant Sweeney would say. I shouted down to Roland Crust and the cubs, you'd better call the fire brigade after all. Soon, I could hear a great ringing of bells as the tickle fire engine came speeding up Duck Walk. And then I heard the firemen marching about, shouting orders to each other. I recognized Fred Fireman's voice. Don't worry, we'll have you down in no time, he shouted. The big ladder on the fire engine swung round to point at the tree, and then it rose until it reached me. Standing on the platform at the top was Fred, looking as smart as anything in his helmet. He popped me over his shoulder, tucked Capelia under his other arm, and down we all went on the ladder. 
When we reached the ground, Roland Crust was so pleased to see Capelia, he ignored me altogether. But I didn't mind very much. I like helping people, you know. And even cats sometimes. <laughs> well, I think you're very lucky. How is your ankle anyway? Have you been to see Dr. Dimple yet? Oh, not yet. I mean, I couldn't walk around tickled looking like this, could I? <laughs> I mean, what would Sergeant Sweet say? He'd probably say, hello, 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 what's this? <laughs> <laughs> well, you're all right now, Connie. Here's your skirt. You can put it back oh, on. Oh, thanks, Danny. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, let's have a look at the tickle pose because I think we've got a few police jokes in oh, this. Oh, yes, yes. Here's a right. Here, Danny. <laughs> Here's the first one, and it's from Claire Marsden of Darwin, Lancashire. What's the difference between a nail and a bad boxer? I don't know. What's, What's the difference between a nail and, and a, a bad, bad boxer? boxer? Well, one gets knocked in and the other is knocked out. Yay! Both get a <laughs> <laughs> Round two. Danny, Danny yeah. look. What have you done? Oh, look. I'll never get my stripes <laughs> when I'm looking like this. Well, I think they're rather good. <laughs> they're much better for climbing trees, it. <laughs> oh, my funny. Yeah, here, what about this one? Right <laughs> We've got a good one here from Martin Rogers, Beaver Road School, Didsbury, Manchester. <laughs> what do birds eat at breakfast? I, I don't, don't know. know. What, what do, do birds, birds eat, eat at, at breakfast? breakfast? Shredded tweet. Very good. Tweet. Well, I've got one here. If I can keep my skirt up and my trousers on. Now, wait a minute. This is from Andrew Powell from Bolton. What do you call a cow eating grass? I, I don't, don't know. know. What, what do, do you call, call a cow, cow eating, eating grass? grass? A lawn mower. <laughs> Whee! Oh, yes. <laughs> and there's another one here from Claire Milner, Clerkenwell School, London, EC1. Why do bees hum? I, I don't, don't know. Why, why do, do bees, bees hum? hum? Because they don't know the words. Right. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, a good it's a good it. Now, we've got one here from Stephen Williams. Bram could coat. Bram could. Oh, Bram. It's my trousers falling down. My skirt, you see, that's worrying me. I'll get it right in a minute. It's Bram Coat School, Kirby, Liverpool. What do you get if you cross a kangaroo with a sheep? I don't, I don't know. know. What, what do you, you get, get if you cross, cross a, kangaroo a kangaroo with a sheep? A woolly jumper. Yeah. <laughs> Connie capers on patrol in Tickletown She walks up the streets and round the houses Then walks down again Connie capers on patrol in Tickletown She wants to help somebody She wants to be their friend Hello, 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 what's this then? Old Sergeant Sweeney will say Oh, what kind of mess? Oh, let me guess, have you been in today? Was it the hole in the road? Has a heavy lorry gonna shed its load? Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She walks up the streets and round the houses, then walks down again. Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She wants to help somebody, she wants to be their friend. Hello, 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 what's this then? No Sergeant Sweeney will say What kind of mess? No, let me guess, have you been in today? Was it the traffic jam? Well, I should have got myself, oh, what a fool I am Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Trying, she keeps trying Though sometimes she feels like crying when things get tough, she won't give up Till everyone around her smiling Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town She walks up the streets and round the houses Then walks down again Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town She wants to help somebody She wants to be their friend Hello, 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 what's this then? No Sergeant Sweeney will say What kind of mess? No, let me guess how you been in today Was it the case of the hats? They just blew away, well fancy that Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Cause Connie capers on patrol in Tickletown 
She walks up the streets and round the houses, then she walks down again. Calling papers on patrol and take up time. She wants to help somebody and she wants to be their friend. I love it, I love what's this then? Old Sergeant Sweeney will say, What kind of mess? No, let me guess, have you been in today? Was it a cat up a tree? The fire brigade? Oh dear me, oh Connie, what kind of mess are you in today? Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She walks up the streets and round the houses, then walks down again. Connie capers on patrol in Tickle Town. She wants to help somebody, she wants to be their friend. She wanna help somebody, she wanna be their friend.